Hey guys, Peter here to do an album review. Today I'm here to talk to you about the debut record from N Splinters from An Ever Changing Face out June 5th on Close Casket Activities. This album has 11 tracks, 33 minutes in length. This band is made up of current and former members of Counterparts, The Dillinger Escape Plan, Fit for an Autopsy, Misery Signals, Shai Huluth and Reign Supreme. This started off as a project led by Will Putney, quickly transformed itself into a full-fledged band and this is their debut record. They've created a sound that in my opinion really mixes hardcore with grindcore in a way that allows these two genres to coexist with each other on every single song on the album. They created a very unique signature sound for themselves with this record and I think it's a sound that's gonna really stick to the fans and people are gonna interact with it because it feels very organic. In my opinion they were able to spell brutality with three letters. That is perhaps the best way to define this record and this band. The structure and sound of the album is really interesting because I really feel like these two elements coexist together. The album is very compact, uh, it's very driven, it has short but powerful songs and this allows it to be very cohesive, very dynamic, very fluid. I also really enjoy the fact that they created songs that allow themselves to interconnect with the following track. So the way one song ends, it almost feels like it becomes the intro to the next song and so forth and so forth. So this makes the album feel even more cohesive, feel even more together and creates that great fluidity that you need on an album that is this aggressive, that is this powerful, that is this driven from the first all the way to the last song. There is a sense of equality across every single track. There is no dips. Uh, there is no side steps, no side turns, there's definitely uh, no shortcuts with this record. This is a record that takes you from point A to point B in the shortest distance possible, in the most aggressive and brutal way possible. And I really like that aspect of the album, I really like that in your face, no holds bar type of sound and approach, and this record has that in bunches. Now the guitars on the record are really interesting, I really like the sound that they've created for the album. It's heavy, it's thick, it's chunky, it's driven, it's melodic at times, even groovy in some occasions. But overall there's a very, there's a very driven sense uh, as far as the guitar sound is concerned, really pushing itself forward on every track, being one of the main condiments and one of the driving forces behind every single song dictating not, not necessarily the pace of the track, but definitely where the track is going as far as the heaviness that it has and the brutality that it carries. The vocals is the other main component on this record. Brendan Murphy has absolutely phenomenal vocal performance on this album. To me, he's the cherry on top. He's the perfect outlet for the brutality that the music holds. You need a vocalist that can demand attention, that can demand the, the presence. And in my opinion, he does this on this record. He's able to stand above everything else. He's able to, to control the, all the other elements that the album has and dictate where they're gonna go, uh, allowing himself to be the commander-in-chief, if you will, of the record, of the music, really creating uh, interesting dynamics, not only with his voice, but in how he interacts with the tracks themselves, understanding the fluidity that the track has, understanding the brutality, the intensity that the song has, and then adding on top of that. Uh, not only his vocal performance is great, but I also enjoyed some of the layers that they created on some of the tracks, adding a little bit uh, of texture and, and a little bit of more substance to the way the vocals come across, making them feel a lot bigger, a lot with, uh, with making them feel like they have more volume, more presence. Uh, and in my opinion, that really enhances the songs and it really enhances the punch that the tracks have, really making them feel heavier, more brutal, more intense, more in your face. So overall, from everything that surrounds the vocal performance on the, this album, in my opinion, is absolutely outstanding. I really liked it, I really liked the approach, I really liked the delivery, and perhaps more important, I really liked the, the emotion, the, the, the anger that it brought forward on every single track, really enhancing the flavor of, of the lyrics, really bringing those lyrics to life on every single song. So amazing job as far as the vocals are concerned on this album. In my opinion, this is a record that overall perhaps is going to catch some people off guard. I know it caught me off guard. I was not expecting this style, this approach, this delivery, and I was not expecting the album to be this consistent, this fluid, and at the same time this cohesive. 
I really like what they've created here. The album is really, really well put together, really well crafted when you think about the structure, the overall sound, how those two elements coexist with each other, the brutality that it has, how driven it is, but at the same time is not chaotic. It's not an album that, that falls apart at the seams. So it's a really well put together record, really well constructed and really well delivered album. And like I said at the beginning, I just hope that this is just the first of many because the talent that these guys have is just unbelievable and it's on full display on this debut record if you can create a debut record like this uh, sky is the limit and I really hope that this is just the springboard that allows them to create a lot more albums as they move forward in their careers within this new group within this new band as far as songs are concerned I want to start off with absence has a little bit of a melancholic intro I really like that uh, you don't get too many of those on this record, and I really like the ad the fact that they add that into this one. It really changes the eyesight of the listener when you walk into this track. Uh, and that melancholy intro is there until the roof caves in, and then it's just absolutely brutality and insa insanity uh, that takes control of the track. It becomes a, a much more volatile song, pushing you in, in a lot of different ways. The guitars have a very dark and driven melody to it, and that adds an overall uh, darkness to the sound that the song has. Uh, the vocals is one of the main outlets, in my opinion, of the aggression that this track holds. Uh, the drums are very powerful. They really create the foundation uh, that everything else is built upon. All the other bricks are put on top of the foundation. The drums really lay the groundwork that allows the guitars to be as driven, uh, as dark as they are at times, that allows the vocals to be as dominant, as powerful as they are. So I really like the way the song is constructed. The breakdown that comes at the middle of the track changes the song, it, it creates a different dynamic, it slows things down, they become a lot heavier, a lot slower, you just feel like the song is dragging and I love that transition, I love that change, I love that dynamic change, it just really resets the track. And then as the song starts to fade out, into as it goes towards the end of the song, it starts to build up as it becomes the intro to the following track. They do this quite a bit throughout this album, and in my opinion, it's a great way to connect songs and allow the album to have great fluidity because you almost lose track of which song you're listening to because they all become part of, the, of a much larger picture. And that to me is one of the beautiful aspects of this record. Next, Evening Arms heavy driven song from the start that's how it starts and that's how it stays the guitars are heavy they're melodic at times uh, feeling chunky they add volume to it they add volume to the to the overall sound that the track has and i also have to mention the bass because i really love the bass on this track it has a little bit of an old school hardcore feel to it and the way it comes in it's not in the forefront throughout the whole track but it definitely has its moments and when it comes to the forefront when you notice that the bass is there it really has that old school hardcore feel that i really enjoy and i really like that throwback moment that the track has vocally this uh, track delivers a punch to the gut it pretty much happens on every single song but somehow this one it felt a, a lot more the way it comes at you it just feels a lot a, a lot more aggressive a lot more dominant and you really feel that there you're getting a strong punch to the gut with the vocals on this track and I love it overall this is a very dynamic track uh, a track that uh, it has one constant uh, aspect to it and that's the intensity that it holds all the way through but everything else is moving in different directions is a song that's very volatile that's constantly changing constantly uh, morphing constantly moving constantly growing and I love that about the song I, I love that dynamic aspect of the track you never know what you're gonna get at the next turn because it's pulling you in in a much different direction uh, uh, as it moves along as you get closer to the end, this is another song that has an outro built in into the track and you get uh, part of a movie, a dialogue in a movie that becomes the, the ending of this song. And once again, it's perfect because as that, that ending of the movie uh, builds in into the track, it becomes also the intro to the next song in Apparition which I really like these transitions. I really like how they created them, uh, how they work between tracks, really connecting songs together, giving a, f a feeling of sequence, uh, of continuity. I, I just really enjoyed that aspect. It, it, to me, it felt really fresh, really new, really different. And they did it in a very good way, in a, in a very seamless way that you don't really feel like these parts are, are there, but they don't belong there. And in this song is another perfect example of, of an outro that works then as the intro to the next song. And the next song is An Apparition. Uh, the drums on that track and guitars absolutely destroy everything in its path. 
these are two powerhouses that are coming together, holding hands and, and just bulldozing over every single thing in, in their path. The vocals are more of, of an element of directing traffic, at least that's how it felt to me. I, I really felt that the drums, like I said, and, and guitars were taking front stage, they're controlling where the song is gonna go. And, and as far as the vocals are concerned, they're just telling those elements if, to, if they need to turn right or they need to turn left. I really like that aspect of the track. I really like how the song is constructed. A song that changes tempos uh, quickly, uh, but not abruptly. And that to me is something that's really interesting about this song. You feel the song changing, but it's not one that changes uh, in an abrupt way. There's a smooth transition, uh, or at least feels very smooth the transition from these peaks to these valleys. And that allows the song to be very fluid, very dynamic, and it feels like it's moving forward at a very fast pace. Uh, and it pulling you up and down, up and down as you progress through the track. So I, I like that aspect of the song. It, res, it just really it, it slings you around the room when you're listening to it. You just feel like your body is getting pulled in so many different directions, up, down, left, right. And that is the, the interesting aspect of how this song is constructed and the dynamic mechanisms that the song has built in within itself. Once again, I really feel like the drums and guitars are going more in one direction and the vocals are dictating which direction it is but this allows the album to have this up and down sideways feel to it that is just really strong within this track and it's really strong across the whole album but perhaps in this track you feel it a lot more great song a uh, great way to construct a track that's this volatile this dynamic and still keep it very cohesive once again guys this is it this is end with splinters from a never changing face once again june 5th is the date that the album comes out on closed casket activities let me know your thoughts on the band use the comment section below i'll be reading those and getting back to you take care guys